Now, before I get on to the actual video itself, I'm just going to point out this isn't scaremongering or anything like that. But sadly, we do have some unscrupulous people among us who want to steal our pride and joy. And if you're anything like me, you've worked nice and hard so you can save up to buy it. So today, let's look at a few hacks so you don't have to carry a big old chain and padlock around with you on your training ride. Also, this video is really just to try and stop the opportunist thief rather than a professional, because quite frankly, they will get through almost anything you put in their way. Right then, cyclists love cafes. They also love coffee and they love cake too. So when you go into the cafe, why not leave your bike in the biggest gear possible? So the big chain ring and the small little sprocket at the back. Therefore, if someone comes along and tries to take it, unless they're built like a track sprinter, they're probably not gonna know how the gears work and they're not gonna be able to set off with enough force. And you can just stop them like that. Now this next one I got from friend of the channel, Adam Hansen, when I spotted something over on his Twitter page. What he does when he stops off at a cafe or somewhere just temporarily on his rim brake bike, he actually removes the wheel from the dropout, just slides it forward or backwards slightly so that the tire is actually resting on the underside of the caliper or fork crown, meaning that if someone tries to steal it, when they try and get on, well, they just fall flat on their face. With this bike though, I've got disc brakes, so something you could do easily is just remove your through axle, meaning that if a thief tries to ride off on it, well, hopefully the front wheel is gonna fall out and they're gonna land flat on their face. Alternatively, you could take the rear wheel just out of the drop out there too. Just remember to actually re-tighten those through axles because of course that could land you not only sore, but also out of pocket with some potential damage to the bike. Of course, if you do have standard rim brakes, one bit of advice I can give you there is just to undo the quick release mechanism on the caliper itself, tighten that barrel adjuster fully, and then try and lock down that quick release mechanism again, so that literally, if someone tries to ride off on the bike, well, they're gonna be riding with the brakes jammed on. It's not gonna be particularly easy, that. Now this method is not necessarily my favorite, but I do still see people doing it from time to time outside of shops and cafes. They simply turn their bike upside down, making it just a little bit more inconvenient for one of those thieves to run along and take it. Now, depending on where you're going and how much room you've got in your pockets, for instance, you could take something like this, which is an almost industrial strength zip tie, if you like. This one comes from hip lock and it's even got a combination lock built in within it. Um, so you could use that when you're out on your cafe ride because it's probably small enough to go inside of your jersey pocket. Or also, if you're on a train journey where you're not necessarily able to keep an eye on your bike at all times, this could just slow down a thief and let's face it, if one bike's locked up and one's not, a thief is more likely to take the unlocked version. Now another cheeky little hack you can do is to use your helmet straps and buckle as a temporary lock. Now myself and my cycling friends, we've got a rule, no helmets on the table at the cafe. So, well, why not use it for that reason indeed? So simply wrap it around a frame tube, connect it to something you cannot move. Therefore, when the thief tries to take it, they can't. Now this last little nugget comes from my colleague Ollie who says why not get a bit of paper, get all your details on it, laminate it and then store it inside of one of the frames tubes. So you could remove the seat post, slide it into the top tube for instance, take out the forks and do the same. Therefore if your bike well, sadly was to get stolen but recovered luckily by the police, if you have to go along and formally identify it, you can tell them exactly where that note is hidden and prove it's yours, essentially. Then, of course, you could simply ask a friend of yours when you stop off a cafe to mind your bike whilst you go in and get something and vice versa. Just being extra safe. There we are, a few security hacks there so that your pride and joy stays a little bit safer when you go in quickly for a bit of coffee and cake. I do hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know though your security hacks just down there in the comments section below. And also remember to like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget too to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. We've got loads for you to check out. And now for another great video. This time, how does a free hub work? In fact, how do different types of free hubs work? Click just down here. <laughs>